Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tony Honorific. Uh, as you can see, this video is a little bit short, like a few seconds. The reason is I totally fucked up the timing when I was recording. So yeah, forgive me guys. Yeah, I totally fucked up. And that's about it I wanted to say. So yeah, let's go check on that titties. Previously on... Yo, nobody got time for that. Let's go. You know, Michelle, I noticed that uh, you look fine. Yeah. Even though it's kind of fucked up you letting me, you know, use a mall tub and burn my damn house, but damn! You look fine in that outfit, god damn! It doesn't look human though. I mean, it looks human, but it's just like, you know, sometimes it doesn't look right because it's too... Uh, what am I saying? Anyway, let's move on! I just stood there for a moment, thinking thinking hard about the events of this week how many horrible things that had happened and all the great things that had happened as well getting to know Rose and Kyo even Mizuki and Bunny it had been such a strange yet wonderful experience if I threw this bottle onto the house it would all continue but if I don't or if I didn't it could all disappear what? Again? A choice? Eh, just wait, 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 wait. Fifty minutes, bruh! Uh, eh? Oh my god, hold on! Alright guys, so... Uh, fuck, Michelle. If I threw this bottle onto that house, it would all continue. Oh, fuck, if I, if I didn't, it could all disappear. Fuck! You know what, guys? Uh, I'm just... You know what, no. I mean, I want to throw the bottle. I mean, I don't want to throw a bottle, you know? Wait, no, hold on. What am I thinking? Dude, this is fucked up! If I... Alright. If I don't throw the bottle, if everything would change to something better, then I'll do it. For Mizuki and Bunny, for the future, I'll do it. And now I'm gonna lose all the memories with Kyo, Rose, Mizuki and Bunny chan, and Michelle. But if this is what I have to do, I mean, I don't have to, but fuck. It makes it better for the future. Your guys' sake, I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking do it. God damn it. Just don't throw the bottle. No. I stood there and thought of Kyo's words. Of Mizuki's as well. About time, being a river that we travel along. Changing whatever was before would only alter what was ahead, right? As confusing as it was, I felt as if, for that brief second, that if I didn't throw the bottle, and I didn't cause the place to burn down, then somehow, some way, everything would work out. I set the bottle down, Looking at Michelle sternly. I'm not doing this, Michelle. Michelle merely smiled, then picked up the bottle, grabbing a pitcher that was next to her and dropped it in. It, uh huh, dousing the flames. I knew I could count on you, Kenji. Now then, when we go through the time window, things will change. So, uh, K Kenji, what's wrong? What? It's just... I, I feel... weird and... Uh, uh, uh. A sharp pain hits my stomach and swirled throughout my body. I hunched over and fell to my knees, going faint. The sweat fell down my brow, and my ears rang loudly. I could hardly hear Michelle's words as I suddenly blacked out, the world disappearing. That Kenji 
vanished right in front of Michelle's eyes. She merely stood there for a moment. Mouth gape. Gape, I mean. Then suddenly shook her head, stepping towards the white light that appears nearby. That wasn't supposed to happen. What? Michelle was awestruck as she stepped back through the time window. Bursting back to the time with Kyo and Rose. It... She made it back to their lab, sensing the air around her was much more dense than before. Michelle? What happened? What's happening? It's a prediction I feared. The time we were currently in is collapsing, so our collective consciousness is also fading. In English, Michelle? We are slipping into a different flow of Time River, or Time's River. We regain a fragment of our memories, but things will be different. At least I hope that... What is happening? Essentially, Time itself is trying to fix a paradox we just created. So this timeline, where all of us exist with our knowledge, is falling apart. So, what does that mean for us? Do it! Michelle smirked as she collapsed over. It! As she did, the clothes of all the girls slowly started disintegrating first, as they normally did when they were in a time other than their own. We're going home, girls. To a new home that's the same, but so much different. I promise you, everything is going to be old. Those words, the world went black. For a moment, reality seemed to be an empty void, like a Kamatos dream that I could never be awoke from. But eventually, Kenji's eyes left or flitted open. Seeing the ceiling of his bedroom, his old bedroom. Nice room, bruh. From this old house. What? What happened? Oh, fuck, I feel sick. I lean over, thinking I might throw up. Holding a trash can in front of my face, I anticipated it, but nothing came. For a while, I just sat there, composing myself as the world stopped spinning. Where was I? Was I home? Was this home? I look up and down. Yes, yes. This was my old room. My old house. But it never felt old. It was just the place I lived in. Suddenly there was a knock on my door. It cracked open. And a sweet voice rang from the other side. Kenji, are you alright in there? Your grandpa wanted you over at his lab in an hour or so. And my mom? Oh, yes, dear. Are you feeling well? You sound sad. I sat there, a smile crossing my face as tears began to well up in my eyes. I quickly wiped them away. Uh, bye, mom. Thank you. So, uh... Granddad Tensei wants me over at his lab in an hour then? Yes, dear. That's what he told me. Are you sure you're feeling alright? I can call him and- No! No! I mean no! Bye, Mom! I just- Is Dad home yet? No, dear. He's still working. He has an overtime shift today. He'll be done by 11. What time is it now? Around 6. I was worried with how much you were sleeping today. Alright, I'll be back home then, Mom. I suddenly lunged forward, embracing her and laughing. Goodness, Kenji. What has gotten into you lately? Oh, just nightmares, I guess, yeah. Really, Kenji? You're 18? I'm sure you can handle some bad trees by now. I know, Mom. God, I pull away from her and dash downstairs my way down through the door. But before I did, I called back at, at her. At her, I mean, excuse me. You're right. Can't. I'll be back home for dinner, Mom. I just gotta get to the lab. 
practically did a marathon spin all the way to the lab, fueled by adrenaline and joy. I made a mad dash to the field where the lab was, which surprisingly wasn't far from where I lived, and holy shit, there's nothing out here! Anyway... Had it changed location, or was it always this close? Couldn't remember, nor did I care. Eventually I made it to the entrance and pressed the call button. A voice rang out from the box. Stay your business! Granddad, it's me! Kenji? There was silence for a moment before the elevator dinged. The shutter door swiftly sliding open, beckoning me to come inside. I practically jumped inside pressing the lowest floor button. Hopping up and down in my anticipation to see the lab. Finally, it dinged again. Sliding open to reveal Kyo standing at the doorway! Before I could say a word, she tackled me in a hug. Laughing and crying at the same time! Oh my gosh, it's so good! Kenji! We were so worried that something had happened! But at the same time, we weren't at a... And it's just been so confusing for so long, but you're finally here! Yeah, I am Kyo! Come the fuck down! Yeah! We stared at each other for a moment before Kyo pulled forward and kissed me, pulling back and smiling. I was a bit stunned, but smiled. Hold on. Oh yeah, because I didn't save the rose part and... Yeah, went off with the Kyo part. Anyway, BGM! This way? The others want to see you too, of course. Kyo took me by the hand, practically dragging me towards the lab and pushing the doors open. Yo! Inside was the whole crew, Show Rose, and Tensai. The monitor was even on, showing Mizuki and Bunny in their own time period. So, you made it alive. Or you made it out alive. Michelle walked over to me, sauntering with a smirk, before placing a hand upon one of my shoulders with a sigh. Good job, kid. You made me proud. But thank you, Michelle. I'm sorry I doubted you, yeah. I don't blame you, kid. The plan was crazy, but I believe you made the right choice, all things considered. Now then, I already have another plan on the way. Let me just boot up the time window, and I'll send it in motion. Seriously, Michelle? Already? Kenji just got here. He's lucky to still have his memories from the past. I mean, even those are a bit fuzzy. The details may fade, but the important things are there to stay. You only lost a week, so the damage shouldn't be too severe. I just... It's just nice to see you back, kid. Now then, time window caging doesn't have to join, but I want to see if... Suddenly, a spark emitted from the time window. The picture on the screen fuzzed away, losing connection with music and body. What? A low hum could be heard. An ominous noise that put me on edge, as well as everybody else in the room. Even Michelle. M michelle What is going... What is going on? Before Michelle could answer, the time window burst into a shower of light. What? Oh! Eh? Michelle, uh, Michelle, Michelle, who was standing closest to the t uh, the window, screamed as half her body was engulfed by the embrace. But before it could take her anywhere, the power surge ended. The window suddenly closing shut. Shell cut in between our time and whatever the time the window was set to suddenly burst into light with the window itself screaming at the top of her lungs as it did so. Michelle! Oh gosh! Tensai! Do something! Away! Before anyone could do anything, a loud sonic boom knocked everyone over. And knock me out cold. What the fuck? It's going on! <laughs>